Hello investors, welcome back to the Trend Trader channel. So once again, we're going to be looking at some stocks uh, within the New York Security Exchange and uh, NASDAQ. Uh, later this week, we will release the 10,000 rand stock trading challenge. So most of the GSE companies will be covered uh, in there. So in this week, the couple of things are expected to happen. We know that uh, the Fed or the chairperson of the Fed will be talking uh, in the U.S., so anything is possible. It could be an interest rate, rate hike, or they can decide not to <laughs> hike it or decrease it. So that can have a material effect uh, on how the market performs as the week uh, goes by. So that is something that uh, you have to keep in mind uh, for this week. Last week, we saw that uh, Tesla, it came out uh, with good numbers. And as a result, the stock uh, performed uh, well. You can see that uh, last week, uh, for the past four weeks, we saw that uh, Tesla came to test around US dollars uh, per share. And since then, it tried uh, to recover a bit. But last week, when it came out uh, with those earnings, then uh, it rose uh, sharply. You can see that there was even a large increase uh, in terms of buying uh, volume. So at this moment, yes, we are happy that uh, Tesla is moving up, but we are noting this uh, potential resistance level and also this uh, potential resistance level here. So we'll be looking to see what happens to Tesla around uh, $193 per share if tesla is going to be able to break above uh, 200 dollars per share but at the moment we already have a position on tesla but we are just uh, mindful of what uh, can happen in there so that was one uh, of the stocks uh, that came out with earnings last week and it was uh, interesting to watch as the market respond uh, to tesla so moving forward uh, let's see what is happening with uh, the indices we mentioned previously that uh, the Dow Jones Industrial, it's, so we saw that it was growing up nicely. So it is trading above a uh, key level in there. But what uh, gets our attention is uh, the NASDAQ. Uh, you can see that now it is above uh, this level. We mentioned that we're waiting to see what happens uh, here. So at this moment, this tells us that we could be uh, in a bull market. So we can buy... Um, nasdaq here but remember you can trade directly the futures uh, of nasdaq or you can trade uh, the etf so depending on whatever that uh, you are using if you're using the futures themselves you can buy at the current level and have your stop just uh, below the low of previous a uh, week in anticipation that uh, nasdaq is going to continue to rise uh, up so depending on whether we are in a bull market and if we're in a bull market and how long that uh, bull market can go it's possible that we can go and uh, to test those previous levels of uh, 16,000 a uh, point well if that happens we don't know how long it is going to happen it can happen rapidly it can take years so we're not uh, predicting anything we're just looking uh, for a tradable uh, position from a risk uh, to reward uh, perspective Similar thing can be seen with the uh, S&P 500. We mentioned that S&P 500 was trying to break above uh, this trend line uh, in the past few weeks. So now we have a nice confirmation. It managed to break above this uh, trend line and it is also trading above that uh, key moving average. We can also see that uh, breakout. It happened with a decent uh, amount of volume. So as a result, we can also now start to have a, a long position on the S&P 500 again. You can trade uh, the futures as they are, or you can trade uh, the S&P 500 uh, ETF in anticipation that uh, the U.S. market is going to rise, and then you can benefit uh, from a bull market if there is a bull market uh, in this case. In that case. Yeah, there is not so much we can say about gold. We saw that uh, gold did manage to rise uh, for quite some time. So now gold is uh, about to reach that uh, previous resistance somewhere around uh, 2000 US dollars uh, per ounce. So we're going to wait and see if uh, gold is going to come and break above this level and trade higher 
or if gold is going to come around this level and then maybe pull back a, a bit depending on how this uh, moving average performs maybe it can come back uh, to retest that uh, moving average so that is something that uh, we're waiting on the sideline observing what is uh, happening so i would like to ask uh, those who haven't subscribed uh, to please uh, consider subscribing and know that this video has a uh, timestamps so you can just uh, jump to a section where you are interested in we are going to try to cover uh, as much as we can so looking at the nasdaq uh, etf the one that i said uh, you can use as a proxy to trade uh, the nasdaq you can see it also it is also above this uh, level here there was this a uh, nice gap there some people believe uh, that gaps uh, should be filled but that does not mean that uh, gaps should be filled uh, immediately it can happen now or it can happen uh, in future as things uh, stand we can look at buying this etf with a stop just uh, below this uh, moving average and then again in anticipation that uh, the price of the etf is going to rise as uh, nasdaq uh, is rising same thing can be seen with uh, the s p 500 uh, etf or which is the spy you can also trade the SPY at the current level with a stop in here in anticipation that it can go uh, around to 480, 470 US dollars. So if you enter here around uh, 405, you can already see that uh, the risk uh, to reward is actually uh, attractive. It is somewhere around uh, between 1 is to 3 and 1 is to 4. So these are the kinds of trades that uh, we are always uh, looking to take in our portfolio. Another thing that you need to note is that this uh, recent low is higher than the previous low. So now we are starting to see a, a series uh, of higher lows. So if it happens that the stock goes up, maybe it comes back to retest this level, then ultimately it will have created a higher low, which is higher than that uh, previous low. Then that will be a confirmation that uh, we are in a bull market as we then expect the price of the ETF uh, to continue uh, to move up. So enough about a uh, the indices we've already said a lot previously we spoke about a uh, bitcoin as you can see bitcoin is already trading above uh, comfortably above this uh, level we mentioned that uh, we are bullish uh, on bitcoin we might see a retest it doesn't mean the retest is going to happen before the price is, uh, pushes up or the price can just uh, simply continue going up remember bitcoin is a speculative uh, security so some of the typical market rules uh, do not apply because some of it uh, is traded by irrational people so we cannot expect uh, the common rules of engagement with uh, the cryptocurrencies again ethereum is also trading above this key level we are waiting to see what is going to happen we don't have a position uh, on ethereum but we do have a position uh, on polygon as you can see polygon is also now trading above uh, this level so now we're waiting to see if polygon is going to push uh, above this uh, level so if it does uh, push above this level then we'll be happy because that position is still going to continue uh, to make us uh, some money so there are a lot of other uh, cryptocurrencies or coins that uh, coins or tokens that are performing uh, well so you just have to decide which one uh, is attractive uh, to you and then we can look at some of the companies uh, or etfs uh, we previously we always have a uh, arc innovation etf in our watch list because we wanted to see we saw that uh, it fell from somewhere just uh, above 120 us dollar per share coming to test a uh, low of somewhere around uh, just at some point it was below 40 us uh, dollars so now we are watching to see what is going to happen here we can already see that uh, the volume is picking up so as soon as uh, the arc innovation etf starts to trade above uh, 41 dollars uh, per etf then we can initiate a, a long position it should also be noted that uh, Kathy Wood uh, was buying a lot of Tesla shares so if Tesla uh, performs well we can then expect the Ark Innovation ETF to perform uh, better as well but remember there are many shares within the ETF it is not just a uh, Tesla so some of the companies are performing well some of the companies uh, are not performing well and biotech we can already see the arc uh, genomic etf 
it is also attempting to break above this level but this one has been trying uh, since uh, just before september 2022 but it failed a spectacular it tried again around uh, november again it failed so this is another a uh, third attempt uh, within a short period of less than six months so waiting to see if it can trade uh, above this level then we can start to expect it to be on its own a uh, bull market then these are some of the etfs that uh, are on our watch list where we're looking to initiate a long position also the xpi which is the biotech uh, etf when we saw the same thing with uh, the arc genomic etf we noted that the xpi it attempted to trade above this level before uh, it came back in it has been consolidating uh, sideways so what we see now it's a break uh, above this uh, consolidation level but we still want to see the xpi etf break above uh, this level that will be a nice confirmation that this etf it may be starting uh, its own bull market but remember etfs they have uh, underlying assets so there will be some biotech uh, companies that uh, are performing well so we don't just uh, base all our judgment on the etf uh, itself we can also look under the hood to see which uh, companies are performing well within that uh, etf we previously mentioned that uh, we do have a position uh, in this okay this is called etf in the chinese uh, internet stock uh, that uh, etf is available depending on the broker that uh, you're using we bought it when it broke above this level so we've been holding somewhere since below um, dead us dollar per share we are looking at this level because you can see there was that uh, consolidation so what we're expecting to see is to see this uh, etf trading above a uh, 36 dollar uh, per share there are companies that uh, are within uh, this etf that have performed well uh, so far one of that company is pdt uh, which is a chinese internet uh, stock you can see that uh, it has been on a nice uh, uptrend you can even see that the moving average is also starting uh, to turn up and also now you can see the stock is somewhere around this level if it breaks above this level again it will be a continuation of that uh, bull run so that is why i'm saying that whenever we're looking at a stock we don't just look at uh, the etf itself we also look at the companies that uh, are within that uh, particular stock previously that has worked uh, well for us okay so we're looking at uh, alibaba alibaba is also trying uh, to move up there we are happy with the position at the moment one stock that we want uh, to mention is a uh, caterpillar we bought caterpillar when it broke above uh, this level as you can see in the past uh, few weeks the stock has traded from somewhere just above a uh, 240 us dollar per share to somewhere around uh, 264 so anything is possible the stock can continue trading up or maybe there could be a bit of a pullback coming back to retest that uh, previous uh, resistance level before the stock uh, resuming with its uh, own uptrend we don't know what is going to happen at this moment we have a position we have a stop loss so we are sitting there seeing what is happening uh, well, with that position because we already have uh, a position then flr it's another stock that has performed well we bought flr when it broke above uh, this level here uh, i think that was uh, around november 2022 so that is when we initiated uh, our position then there was that brief uh, consolidation and then last week we saw the stock uh, or in the past three weeks it attempted to break above this consolidation level the following week it traded uh, in, a, in a small range and then last week uh, it continued uh, to trade higher and also that was accompanied by a decent uh, amount of volume so we're expecting flr uh, to continue trading high it is a position that uh, we are happy to have uh, in our portfolio there are a lot of uh, companies that we have uh, in our portfolio we've already exited a uh, gis we remember we made a video on gis we mentioned that the stock has increased or paid a dividend in the past uh, 20 years but as you can see that uh, the previous week the stock it came down uh, crashing 
a closing below this uh, level as long as the stock remains uh, below this level we not wait uh, we're not going to initiate a position because we want to see if this, the share price is going to continue to fall down or if it's going to come back but even if it comes back above this level we won't rush uh, to buy it we'll wait for the stock to come and trade above uh, this level because that will be a confirmation for us that the stock uh, is ready to continue to go up plus there are other companies that uh, are performing well so this scenario if it happens it won't be the first time happening you can see here the stock it came uh, at some point it reached uh, this high before trading below this uh, level for quite some time and then the stock uh, came back above this level as you can see but then we initiated a long position when it traded uh, above this level so we held the stock from around a uh, 70 dollar per share up until it closed uh, somewhere around uh, 78 dollars per share then we exited uh, with a small profit uh, in them so you're not always going to get a uh, spectacular returns on your position it just uh, depends on how the market uh, is performing uh, previously we spoke about uh, the taiwanese uh, semiconductor manufacturing company we still have that uh, position the stock has since been trading nicely above this level it has also broke uh, above this level in here so uh, happy with this position we expect the share price uh, to continue to rise if it does great if it doesn't then it's not much uh, of a problem so there are other companies that uh, we're interested in. I just want to see what's the name of this uh, company. So it's Transmedics. Uh, I just uh, noted the share code as you can see. Transmedics is, is on a nice uh, bull uh, run in there. But the, what we're interested in is that the stock broke above this uh, level here. So the stock is still a few percentages uh, above this uh, breakout level. So it is uh, a stock that you can consider adding. Also note that there was a decent uh, amount of volume in there. So at least if you buy here, maybe have a stop just uh, below $64 per share, then you can expect the share price uh, to continue moving up. But remember, it's all about a uh, risk uh, to reward. We never buy a company and then say the company is going to perform uh, great. And when you look at uh, steel, there are companies within the steel sector that are performing uh, better than others. We're looking at uh, steel dynamics. We also saw that uh, it broke above uh, this level here with also just a, a, a fair amount uh, of volume. So the stock is also about uh, $8 per share away from that uh, breakout level around uh, 111 US dollar per share. So that's about $7 difference uh, in there can look at initiating a long position with the stop uh, just below 110 you can have a stop there or you can choose to have a stop just uh, below the previous low of that uh, candle everything is all about uh, risk uh, management and then finally let us look at some oil and gas companies we know that a uh, marathon uh, petroleum corporation it's another stock that uh, broke above a key level uh, last week so we're noting that but look at the volume the volume is a bit uh, absent so this is a stock that you can just uh, put on the watch list because whenever a share price go up we prefer that it is uh, accompanied by a decent amount of volume if the volume is absent then there isn't much that we can be interested in in that uh, particular company and then lastly let us look at uh, exxon mobil exxon mobil is also going to be coming up with uh, earnings this week so waiting to see what will happen same thing with uh, exxon mobil it did a uh, break above this consolidation level but uh, the volume component uh, was missing so it's possible that it's not that there are no buyers that are pushing the share price high it's possible that uh, investors are waiting to see uh, the earnings what uh, exxon mobil is going to report uh, this coming week so we keep on talking about uh, these earnings again if you go to twitter on this uh, earnings whisper account you can see that um, all the upcoming uh, earnings or the most anticipated earnings because the list is not uh, containing everything you can see that uh, there are companies such as uh, sophie which is coming up with uh, its own result there so waiting to see what is happening uh, with this company we spoke about uh, exxon mobil also amd is coming with its own uh, result we saw that uh, intel corporation 
it came with a poor result but we have a position on nvidia so we are still happy with our nvidia position but also general motors is coming out with results pfizer we're going to see if pfizer continues uh, to benefit from the covid uh, related uh, vaccines the sales uh, thereof we spoke about caterpillar that uh, it is was uh, it is moving up we have a position on caterpillar there are companies such as uh, mcdonald that are coming out uh, with the result and that uh, marathon petroleum corporation as well there are a lot of other companies <laughs> we cannot uh, touch uh, all of them there is uh, snap inc uh, there's mondelez which is a, a household name some of those companies that uh, consistently pay dividend there is a uh, waste management maybe let us look at uh, the chart uh, of waste management we know that uh, there are people that are interested in this company maybe it is a dividend payer okay so the chart to us it looks it doesn't look uh, attractive the stock is just uh, moving sideways so if you are a dividend investor maybe this is the kind of thing that uh, you are looking for for us we are more interested in capital appreciation so this is not a chart it is not something that we would prefer uh, to trade there's nothing wrong with the company it is just something that we prefer not uh, to trade and then now we know altria it's a cigarette uh, company i think the share code of altria is mo yeah it is one of those uh, companies like british american tobacco that pays a uh, quarterly dividends well british american tobacco is an exception in south africa because most of the companies in south africa they pay dividends uh, twice per year interim result and final result but uh, bti it pays a uh, quarterly dividends you can see the cigarette business uh, is all over coming all the way from 56 dollar per share uh, to somewhere around uh, 40 dollar per share so the, sh uh, the price action of this uh, stock it is a bit uh, erratic but some people they buy these companies uh, for dividend uh, purposes so it could be a different uh, thing then let us look well, we see that uh, there is meta we have a position uh, on meta that uh, we took uh, recently so maybe let us look at uh, the chart of meta platforms uh, previously it was known uh, as facebook so people can say a, a lot of things in terms of the metaverse the share price uh, was going down whatever was happening there but also we know some of these uh, tech companies they spoke uh, of retrenchments so it seems like a uh, meta platforms has bottomed uh, somewhere uh, between eight and hundred dollar maybe let's say it's a ninety dollar per share and then it is back uh, at this level uh, just before it broke above this level we already initiated a, a long position so now we do have a long position uh, on meta platforms we're expecting the share price uh, to continue to go up but this will also depends on how the earnings uh, are going to come this week if they come up with a uh, positive numbers and the market interpret those numbers as positive then there will be a catalyst uh, to push the share price up but if there is negative uh, sentiment and the market participants they start dumping those shares then we won't be surprised if the share price then uh, can uh, come back uh, below this level anything is possible that is the risk uh, that we are willing to take at this uh, particular moment so we can see there's mac uh, our mac position uh, it hit a stop loss so we no longer have a position on mac apple is also coming uh, up with the result apple is also looking uh, positive well uh, at least on a shorter time frame it was uh, looking positive but again any stock that has uh, fallen for a while it is always going to experience a bit of uh, overhead resistance but uh, one thing that uh, apple prides itself is the amount of cash that uh, they have at some point they had uh, just over 200 billion us dollar uh, in cash so we'll see if they still continue having uh, that amount of cash but you can see the price action at this moment it is not uh, the best but the company itself has some um, positive uh, prospect then there's alphabet so alphabet has a lot uh, of share codes okay we can see there is a uh, alphabet incorporation there's a uh, class c shares 
there's yeah just it's a whole lot of a uh, mix masala so we can just uh, look at one share code it, everything should reflect uh, the same thing just different uh, share price so we can see that uh, alphabet is also attempting to trade above this level for the past uh, three weeks there was a nice uh, accumulation maybe the insiders and institutional investors they know something that uh, we don't know that is why there was that uh, accumulation in the past three weeks so if the numbers are good then we can expect a uh, alphabet to trade above this level and maybe start uh, its own uh, bull market but we're not um, predicting anything we're just uh, waiting to see what uh, will happen we can see another pharmaceutical company there that is going to come with a result uh, starbucks uh, and also let us look at united states uh, still since we spoke about um uh, it's a uh, that uh, still dynamics let's see how this one is performing okay you can see the share price is just uh, all over there isn't much that is uh, interesting in there so yeah there are a lot of companies that uh, are going to be coming with a result but also keep in mind that there is that a uh, fed meeting so we'll see what uh, jerome powell is going to say there and yeah if you haven't subscribed please uh, consider subscribing and if you find value in these videos please smash that uh, like button if you have any comments or suggestions please uh, leave them in the comment section and then we will see you in the next video